like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. Welcome to Desmond's Donders. Let's head off on a donder. Welcome to the second and concluding part of Kev's Spitfire sketch and painting. During the Battle of Britain, from July to October 1940, the public perceived the Spitfire to be the main RAF fighter, though the more numerous Hurricane shouldered a greater proportion of the burden against the Nazi German Air Force, the Luftwaffe. However, Spitfire units had a lower attrition rate and a higher victory to loss ratio than those flying Hurricanes because of the Spitfire's higher performance during battle. Spitfires were generally taxed with engaging Luftwaffe fighters, mainly the Messerschmitt 109E series, which were a close match for them. It was after the Battle of Britain that the Spitfire superseded the Hurricane to become the backbone of RAF Fighter Command and saw action in the European, Mediterranean, Pacific and South East Asian theatres. Much loved by its pilots, the Spitfire served in several roles. It included interceptor, photo reconnaissance, fighter bomber and of course trainer and it continued to serve in these roles until the 1950s. Seafire was a carrier-based adaptation of the Spitfire that served in the fleet air arm from 1942 through to the mid-1950s. Although the original airframe was designed to be powered by a Rolls-Royce Merlin engine producing roughly 768 kilowatts of power, 1,000 brake horsepower, 
It was strong enough and adaptable enough to use increasingly powerful Merlins and in later marks the Rolls-Royce Griffin, which produced 2,500 horsepower or nearly 1.7 kilowatts. As a result, the Spitfire's performance and capabilities improved over the course of its service life. I'd like to thank Kev for allowing me to use his sketches and drawings to produce this video as a tribute to one of the great fighter aircraft that the Air Force had. Thank you for watching this week's Desmond's Donuts. Please take nothing but memories, leave nothing but tracks. We hope you enjoyed it and you will join us next time. In the meantime, please think about subscribing.